Hi friends, welcome to Beauty Infinite. So today I will finally go ahead and create the first bridal makeup look for the series Brides of India. And this is going to be a Bengali bridal look since I am partially Bengali. So this look is extremely close to my heart. I have worked really hard and went a bit overwhelmed. So just went ahead and applied Alta as well to complete the look. If you like this look, then please keep on watching. First I will use my Votrace Face Serum and I will pack the serum on all over my face because this will just go ahead and create a really hydrated look on my face. It will create a beautiful shine and a glow and will not allow any sort of dry patches. So I am patting the serum on all over my face so that it get quickly absorbed and hydrate my face really well. Today I will use a combination of my Color Bar and Lacme Primer because both work differently and you want your makeup to last if you are going to be a bride. So first I am going to take my Lacme Absolute Blur Primer because this is a perfect primer to blurring out your pores. So I will massage the primer well on the area on my nose and my mouth where I have maximum pore. Then I will go ahead and slowly distribute the Color Bar Primer with stroking feather effect and distribute it on the rest of my face so that my makeup lasts longer. and it just glides evenly and smoothly without any sort of problem. Then I will use a combination of my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Both are extremely long lasting and do not crease or lose shine with time so a perfectly affordable foundation for a bridal look. So I am applying this foundation using my Real Technique Beauty Blender because it will create a really natural finish without cakiness. Setting the foundation well with my Blue Heaven Natural Shade Compact Powder. Then for my concealer I am using my Kiss Beauty Concealer and I am taking the TLOA shade from the palette and I will be applying it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, above the jawline and around my mouth to highlight the area well. Now blending it well in bouncing the sponge on the area. I will bake my face using this Miss Claire Transblooming Loose Powder and this powder is really good. It is soft in texture, not at all chalky and has a rich yellow undertone. I have mentioned all the product and shade details in the description bar so please do not forget to check it out. I am going to apply this powder under the, my eye and also above the jawline and by the time the baking is done I am going to go ahead and work on my brows. For my brows today I will use my Makeup Revolution Brow Palette because it comes with its own wax and the deeper brown color is extremely dark. So I really want the brows to be a bit dark and dramatic since it's a bridal look so it has to be bright to make the face prominent. Taking the deeper brown color and deposit it on the end corner of my brows. I also used a bit of a matte black because I want the brows to be really prominent since it's a bridal look and brow really defines the face. After doing the brow color I'm just depositing the wax using the same brush and this will make sure that the brows remain in its place. Then I am applying a bit of the concealer from the same Kiss Beauty palette around the brow and I am going to blend this using my finger because finger works best when you work with preciseness. Dusting of the extra powder using a fluffy powder brush. My eyes first I am going to use this Kiss Beauty eyeshadow primer. It just brighten up the overall eye look. It lasts your eye makeup longer without creasing so I absolutely love this product. It is a cream best primer then I'm going to use this light brown and this deeper reddish brown shade from the Hilari Roda matte palette and I deposit the color on the crease line I'm taking the color a bit inward three-fourth of the crease slowly circling the brush at the outer corner and taking it inward so that it creates a beautiful transition effect then I will take this beautiful red color from the Hilari Roda palette and I'm going to deposit it on the outer V section and in short stroke and circular motion I'm going to create a beautiful darkened outer V. I'm slowly circling the brush at the outer corner and taking it inward to create the perfect gradation. Then I will take this matte black shade and deposit it on the outer V section of the eye using my pencil brush so that it creates a smoked out look.
using my blending brush to blend all that while blending you can see that i have concentrated the brush only at the outer v area because i do not want this color to go in a lot i only want to concentrate it on the outer v section because so that it has a really dark and bright overall look take the color in blending is the key Now I'm going to take this deeper darker reddish color and I'm going to deposit it on the outer V again to create the further gradation effect. I'm just packing the color there and in small circular motion and stroke stroking motion a beautiful gradation without any sort of problem. bit more of a black and again blending it in so that it come up with a beautiful effect I'm looking for. happy with the way the outer v is looking right now beautiful gold color from the color sense fire desire palette and that coppery shade as well i'm going to deposit first the gold color using my flat eyeshadow brush on the eyelid and as you can see i'm going to use that copper color to create a smooth transition effect from the darker outer v to the lighter eyelid color so that there is no harsh edges you can see how beautiful that coppery color creates a transition effect from the red to the gold and it looks absolutely gorgeous now i'm using a wet brush to pat the gold color and to darken the pigmentation more and wetting the brush will build up the pigmentation further blending the harsh edges perfectly and now depositing a matte white shade on the brow bone i do not want the brow bone to the to be overpowering so it a bit subtle then i'm using my maybelline hyper glossy liner on my upper eyelid and creating a beautiful dramatic wing liner taking my face solid eye pencil i am depositing the color at the back portion of my lower eyelid in continuation with the wing smudge brush and slowly smoke out the color to get give it a beautiful smoked look i've taken a bit of the red shade and joined it with the black color on the lower eyelid to create a beautiful gradation at the lower eyelid area as well I will deposit the gold color at the front corner of my eye and yes the eye makeup is almost done. I will take my color show nude eye pencil in shiny beige and I'm going to apply this color on my lower waterline so that my eyes look bright and for my lower eyelashes I'm using Willine falsies and then I'm applying a false eyelash on my upper eyelid and also apply the falsies there. pressing the fine lash down to see that there is no gap between the falsies and the original one and it is fits perfectly now i'm using a dark contour color from my kiss beauty 3 color contour kit and i'm going to go ahead and blend it well using my real technique build up the contour further using a powder contour from freedom and i'm going to take the dark brown color to contour the corners of my cheek on both side of my nose under my lip and also a bit on my forehead I'm apply the sugar matte as hell lip crayon in scarlet ho ahara and on topping it up with my shimmer transfer proof lipstick in the shade 431 to come up with the beautiful bright red look Then I'm applying a red bindi first and then a small gold one at the bottom to match with the attire and then using my shringar kumkum I'm just dotting the area with a white polka dots on my forehead I felt it's look like polka dots then I'm just add, adding an adjacent red color from the same shringar kumkum and completing the whole look I took the idea sort of from the Bipasa Basu bridal look because it was extremely gorgeous. Then I will use my Sivana highlighter and take that light brown and gold color and deposit it on the high point of my face, on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow. I 
will use my Miss Claire blusher and this is a bright pink shimmery color and I'm going to deposit it on the apple of my cheek with really light hand because yes you do not want a clown chick even though you're going to be a bride. Transition. Completing the look with my L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray and this spray keep your makeup long for such a long time. I'm going to spray this all on over my face and then bounce my beauty blender so that it get absorbed and my makeup stay on place throughout the night. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please do subscribe guys. This will really mean a lot to me and will help you to take my work forward. And I will see you guys soon. Until next time, take care. Bye. I think I'm going to talk to you about this. What are you talking about? I'm going to talk to you about this.